After revolutionizing the space race and electric cars, the world's richest man is now promising a Twitter makeover, renaming his own account Chief Twit and proclaiming the bird is freed. Elon Musk carried a kitchen sink into Twitter HQ this week, tweeting, let that sink in, then fired senior execs once closing the $44 billion deal. For years, Twitter has battled hate speech and disinformation. Today, a raging debate over what Twitter is now and will soon become. This is a company that's been held hostage by its woke employees, held hostage by its woke users. I don't think this is about politics. I think this is about safety. I really do. I think people like Ayatollah Khamenei shouldn't be on when they threaten Jews because people end up getting hurt. Musk calls himself a free speech absolutist, arguing for fewer restrictions and lifting the ban on former President Trump, accused of encouraging violent acts. I think it was a morally bad decision, to be clear, and, and foolish in the extreme. But today, more anonymous neo-Nazi, anti-Semitic, and racist tweets. Musk trying to reassure the advertisers posted, Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. Ultimately, advertisers are going to be very frustrated and may leave in massive numbers if he doesn't tamp down on this stuff. Musk now says Twitter will form a content moderation council with diverse viewpoints and no reinstatements or content decisions will happen before that council convenes. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.